Hello, today I'm going to give you a short explanation how to use uh, additional serial to USB adapter in order to debug a program deployed on Arduino that is operating with the use of Dynamixel Shield uh, compatible with um, X series servo motors from Robotis. Uh, as you probably know from the manual, this shield is using default hardware serial uh, adapter in order to communicate with Dynamixel series. Uh, and also the same port is used to uploading programs and uh, with the use of bootloader to the Arduino and also by default to monitor your program running on Arduino. So if you switch this uh, shield with the use of this switch to communicate with Dynamixel, you can no longer use the same port that you were using for uploading program uh, in connection uh, to connect with the serial monitor to see your tracing lines. Uh, so in order to know what is going on with, with, the, with the program running on your Arduino and communicating with Dynamixel servers, you have to uh, use this additional uh, UART socket on board, which is in reality using seven and eight GPO pins from Arduino uh, to communicate with your serial monitor. Additional piece of hardware you would need as a adapter uh, between UART and USB. I'm using the model from SparkFan, which is quite a good thing because it operates uh, in 3.3 volts and also depending on how you solder the jumper on the back, also uh, on with 5 volts. So quite a flexible thing. Uh, I connected it with the uh, USB-C cable to my uh, laptop uh, here. Uh, so this this channel I will use for debugging my program. Yeah. Uh, okay. From the ID perspective, uh, you can see that on COM5, which is a printer cable, uh, the Arduino Mega is detected. Uh, and COM6 I will use to uh, for serial monitoring. Yeah. Okay. So let's try to uh, upload my program here to Arduino. Okay. Success. So now I will uh, turn on the power on the shield and also switch the uh, shield to operate with Dynamixel servo motors. Okay, now I reset the board. And you can see both servo motors started to work. And now let's try to uh, see some trace lines from the serial monitor here. As you can see, we can't see much because by default the COM5 is used for monitoring serial, yeah? But we are connected with the adapter to pins 7 and 8 with the using COM6. So let me change the port here to COM6. Yeah. And now I will try, try to run again the serial monitor. So now you can see that my tracing lines looks correct and the position on servo motor is rendered, rendered correctly. So again, uh, you have to use this UART socket provided by the uh, Robotis Shield with connection to UART to USB adapter, properly solder it, be careful how you solder your pins. So TX has to be connected to RX and vice versa between both bo uh, Dynamics board and the adapter. Yeah. And also, from the software perspective, you have to use this uh, software serial 
library and define proper baud rate which I'm using 115200 Okay, that's it. Thank you.